Setting up the map book can be a time-consuming and somewhat complex process. The good news is that once a map book is set up, you can use these definitions over and over again. This drawing is a map of parcels and roads. The parcels are features from a connected SDF file, and the roads are just standard AutoCAD objects. You can set up your map books to make use of connected features, native AutoCAD objects, or any combination of the two. To start the map book process, in the task pane, map book tab, I'll click new map book. This opens the create map book dialog, which walks us through the process of defining a map book. First, I must name it, so in the map book name field, I'll enter Reading. I'll leave the default source of model space. Next, we need to define the sheet template. When I click on sheet template, I can select the template, which contains the layout, title blocks, viewports, and so on. I'll click browse, and from the data set folder, I'll select the map book template 11 by 17 classic then click Open. Under the Layout options, I'll choose to include a title block, and I'll select Title Block. I'll also include adjacent sheet links, and select adjacent underscore arrow underscore 4. For Scale Factor, I'll enter 50. Next, I'll click Tiling Scheme. Here we have a number of options. The by area method would allow us to choose the upper left and lower right extents of the grid. This, combined with the scale, would determine how many sheet sets we have in our map book. Or we could define our tiling scheme by number. For this method, we would pick the upper left corner and then tell AutoCAD Map 3D how many columns and rows we want to use. Finally, we have a custom option. This enables us to select existing tiles in the drawing. If we had closed polylines that represented our grid, we could select those. For this map book, we'll use the by number option, so I'll select that. Here, we can select what layer to generate that grid on, or we can type in a new layer. We'll create a new layer called grid, so I'll type in grid. Next, we need to define the upper left coordinates. For this, I'll click Pick Upper Left. In the drawing screen, I'll just select an area right around here. Since this is just an example map book, I'm not concerned with getting this exactly right. But for you, this may be a trial and error process when you create your first map book for your own specific project. Next, I'll set up the number of columns and rows in our map. For columns, I'll enter 5, and I'll do the same for rows. This won't cover the entire city, but it will give us a good example of how this process works. I'll leave the default setting of 5% for the overlap of shared geometry between each map sheet. Next, we must set up the naming scheme. We have four options, columns and rows, grid sequential, sequential, and data driven. I'll select columns and rows. Here we'll leave the begin with option set to rows, then under rows, keep order from set to top to bottom, and start with set to A, and then incremented by to 1. Under Columns, I'll set the order from to left to right. Then for both the Start With and the Increment By fields, I'll enter 1. So the result of this will be grids which are designated as A1, A2, B1, B2, and so on. Next, under Key, you could choose Linked Drawing, external reference, layers, or none. I'll click layers. The key view is a small viewport 
that enables us to orient ourselves in the map book. If you put too many layers in the key view, you'll diminish the value of it because it becomes too complex to read. I'll select the Roads layer to include in the key view, and click Add Layers for Map Key. Finally, for Sheet Set, I'll click the Create New option. Here, we can select the path where we want to save the sheet set. By default, it's going to put this sheet set in the same folder as the exercise data, so I'll accept that. Now with all of these options set, I'll click Generate at the bottom right of the Create Map Book dialog. AutoCAD Map 3D zooms me into the area of the grid, generates all of the map sheets, and names them according to the settings that we configured. And in the task pane, the Map Book tab is now populated with each of these sheets.